all this action from the Extreme Festival at SWAT Cops is proudly brought to you by GNH Transport. Investchem Chemical Logistics, Car Care Clinic, and Autobahn. The Extreme Festival heads to SWAT Cops, the home of the Extreme Festival, for another exciting round of action. And we're going to kick things off with the GNH Transport Extreme Supercars. Big things expected this weekend as we see some new cars that have just come up from the hill climb already ready to go now for this weekend's racing. A brand new car coming out as well with the McLaren 650 GT and Tata Carello is going to have his work cut out for him to stay at the front end with both of the Charles. That's Arunji's and Joubert. Keep an eye out on Darby Ulifier as well who went really well down on the hill climb and is now looking to go exceptionally well as we go on board here with Bruce Turner in the Promagen BMW for the start. Down into turn number one, this is going to be an absolutely amazing race. I've got Rob Portman in the uh, commentary booth with me and Rob, one thing we've got to watch out for is Charles Arangis is looking for a new lap record. Yeah, in, in the practice sessions, looked like he was very close to that lap record. So let's see if he can pull it off here in the race. He's got uh, the car underneath him. As you can see, the fields come streaming through. Remember, the A-plus drivers are joined with the A's, B's and C-class drivers. And already, the top three drivers pulling away from the rest of the field. Tino going a little bit wide, getting in amongst those two GNH Transport BMWs and Cash and Nikers one as well. He's in the Aquadasha machine. And as they come up there, that Porsche is being threatened. There comes Winterbur diving on the inside of the champion, Ricky John Acaro. That car last weekend was, of course, involved in the hill climb and now pushing hard in the GNH Transport Extreme Supercars. Under braking at the top of the hill, Cashin is all over Mark Detoy. There comes Nicky Dix. And it looks like Gianni John Acaro is still battling a little bit to get his car sorted out. Yeah, he won't be happy being all the way down the field there. Out front, they're going to have to do everything they can to hold on to the coattails of Arangis out front. But you bear Tata Carello, brilliant first outing here for him so far. Dolly Ulifir right in the mix there in the baby beamer. As the rest of the field come across the line for the first time on board. And now with Dino Scribanti going into turn one in that Porsche. Let's see how much... Oh, look at the BMW ahead of him. Just fighting through turn one there. Can he line something up on the inside? Yeah, I don't think there's enough room. Really have to play with your moves so carefully around SWAT Corps. Charles Joubert all over the back end of Tata Carello. The Lotus closing in on the 650 McLaren. Behind them, it's the baby beam of Ulifir. Look in the background. Mark de Toy's lost some ground there in that 450 Ferrari. But as they get up onto the braking markers, you have a turn four. Look how close. Oh, Joubert is all over the back of Carello. Carello goes defensive up into five. And into Sassel Corner, he has to. Otherwise, that Lotus was going to pounce and make him pay. Yeah, Charles just trying to find a way past. And while they are battling, see Darby Ulifia, we got on board here with him. Brilliant job to get that baby beamer right up in the mix. A little bit of loss of traction coming out the right hander there. Flicks it flat out down the left hander. Doing a brilliant job to stay with those, uh, let's just say, extra supercars just ahead of him. Yeah, I just remember that those probably going to be a lot lighter than the baby beamer and he's already had to push hard to get the car up into A+, plus, and he's doing such an exceptional job in the GNH Transport Extreme BMW. You can see that he is not too far off the back end. There you go, Carella goes defensive into turn two again. Looks like that Daytona group of McLaren is under threat here and Charles Joubert wants by and he wants by big time. I think he might have a go here. He's got good drive coming out of turn three. Let's see what happens into four. That's what you've got to do. You've got to line it up almost two or three turns ahead. He gets brilliant drive. Will he fake it to the inside? Yeah, on board with the oh, Brilliant. What a way to go on board there to see the move happen. Will he hold it? Yes, he does. Joubert doesn't run too wide, not allowing uh, Tata Carilla to make the move back. So we have a change up there for second, but Arunji's out front. Just having a look at the lap time. He's getting very close to that lap record. Nicky Dix fighting there with Jonathan Detoy. Detoy coming from the back end of the field. He had to start right at the back there in the 430 from Trans Africa Racing. And he's got through on Gianni Giannacaro. And he's slowly but surely ticking his way up to the front end. I'm not quite sure if he's going to be able to get up to his brother in the 430 GT3. As we see, oh, problems there for Dino Scribanti pulling in in the Scuderia Scribanti Porsche. Yeah, he just hasn't had the season that he would have wanted so far this year. Pulls into the pits. Let's hope he can get that car sorted for race number two. But uh, not the season that he would have wanted. He was right up in the mix there. But unfortunately, he has to pull out this race. This is the massive dice now on track. You can see the toy is trying to fight his way ahead of those BMWs. And uh, it's been a good effort so far. He's, look, how, how close do you want to get to the tail part there? He's going to use the slipstream and just try and put that Ferrari on the inside going into turn four. Yeah, perfectly done coming out of turn three now on Darren Winterbur's tail. Look for him to dive on the inside. Cash and Nike getting away there in the aqua car. And of course, Dino Scribanti and that Scribanti Labour Consultants was in this battle and unfortunately now losing out. He's going to have to get that car sorted now for heat number two. Has, oh, Detroit actually made a mistake up on the top. And G oh, Ricky John Acaro had a big look there. He was nearly able to make it stick. I think a little bit of a miscue there from Detoy. He dives on the inside of Winterbur, the man from Bulawayo, under attack now from Trans Africa Racing 430, the Silver Dream Racer. And can he make any inroads? No, he can't. Look at how fast that BMW is. And oh, 
around the outside. That is an incredible move there from Jonathan Detoy. And enough room there given by Darren Vinterboer and onto the dirt. Oh, Vinterboer is just forcing him out, giving him a little bit of respect there, but still not showing him too much and just forcing him to the outside. And there is no four-wheel drive on that Ferrari. He goes on the inside this time. You can see Detoy is getting a little bit frustrated there now, dicing with Vinterboer. He's made the move now and he's going to try and close up. Like you said, I don't think he's got enough time or pace to close on the leading five drivers ahead there, uh, brother Mark Detoy. But certainly in a big battle here. Next on his hit list is another BMW, and that is, of course, Cashin. Cashin, I could just up the road, but look at the two Already BMWs. Fighting. They haven't given up on him. They're all over the back of that Ferrari and wanting to work hard. Remember, Jonathan Detour has dropped out of A+, plus back into Class A again, so he's now fighting with basically the two guys that are in Class A with him, and that is Vinterbur and John Acaro. Ricky looking for the way around the outside. Darren makes him go the long way around, Sassel. That's not going to be able to be done, that is for sure, but it is not over yet. These guys are fighting hard. Have a look at this. With one lap to go, there's a new lap record. 59.8 for the Aston Martin, and Charles Arangis has now set the fastest saloon car lap around SWAT Cups ever. You know, Greg, he does have the car. We all know that, but to put that car and do that lap time around the SWAT Cups raceway, that is incredible stuff from Charles Arangis. And uh, can he possibly go unbeaten here again today with those kind of lap times? Tata Carello, Charles Joubert, but held up a little bit at the start of the race, but no one with an answer for the Aston Martin out front at the moment. So good little battle going a little bit further behind there, but certainly the battle is out on track for class number A. Jonathan Detoy, Cash and Nike, can he close down Detoy with only one lap remaining to get onto the back end of the BMW driver? Keep an eye on those two Ferraris, but have a look at that. Looking at the lap times as well, it's a case of 259 laps back to back. 59.9, sure, 59.8, and to the flag for the victory, he is going to be absolutely stoked. Stradale Motorsport are going to be happy with that as well as they come across. It's going to be Jaber who's going to hang on for second place after getting through earlier on on Tata Carella in the Daytona McLaren. But what an incredible effort from the first time. Arangi's taking the win ahead of Jaber and Tata Carella in Class A+. Plus. And down in sixth place, Jonathan Detoy actually got up to win Class A. Let's catch up with Jaber and find out there was a little bit of a misfire on his car. We went out for qualifying and the car started misfiring the last two or three laps and we came in uh, changing the injectors hopefully to, to, to get the problem solved but we went out the first hit and was uh, misfiring from the go start so I don't know what's the problem we tried to take out the spark plugs and see if we can find a problem but yeah I don't think we're going to get the car right for, for hit number two eh? so it's a pity. Let's catch up with the fastest saloon car driver, Charles Arangis. This is the ultimate. I mean, we uh, that's why we come racing, is uh, to come and beat that record, uh, especially around this place. So, no, it, it's fantastic. Um, you know, I just wish we could have more, uh, more of the front guys, you know, just upping the pace of it. Um, you know, as, much, as fun as it is to win, um, you also want a bit of a challenge. So, yeah, we'll, uh, but, but I'm sure Franco will be back. Um, and, and, and it's good to see Tato with, uh, with the McLaren coming, getting up there and, and the same with Scholl. So, you know, with, with how our racing is going, it's, it's only looking up. So, yeah, for now, I'll take the 59 and, uh, and the one. Time to get some ice cream, time to get some refreshments and time to just chill out. We'll see you straight after this for race two of the Extreme Supercars.